Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye and I am back with the Catch Carp and Course. And we are back here at River Ebro. And one of the reasons I am coming here one more time, one of my viewers had asked me a question and that was, where in the world do you find the perch in this game? Because I fish all the time and I usually catch anywhere from 10 or 12 of them in an hour's time, yet I have been fishing here and... Haven't been able to catch hardly any unless it's by chance. Well, honestly, I <laughs> didn't have an answer for that. Uh, so I thought I'd come in here, and instead of focusing on the big fish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to focus on the little guys this time, and I'm going to try to see if I can't find a good spot for the perch. Now, the perch usually like a lot of cover, and that's kind of what I'm going to look for as far as spots go. Now... I did look around. There's in this particular map. There's not a ton of it. Most of the uh, water is open, but sometimes you can find them, you know, close to shore with the reeds, and you can often find them near some other structures. We might check out some of the other lakes later on, see if we can't locate them. But I do understand. Sometimes you just have a certain kind of fish you like to fish for, and I love fishing for panfish. And in Europe, they love fishing for perch. I mean, that's just the way it is. But there's also panfish here, so let me go ahead, let me show you where I am here. I'm actually down here on this river. Now, I had to get on a boat, and I think I got on this one right up here and traveled all the way down to here. I could have probably fished off of here as well, but I wanted to try from the boat because I've got the, the rod holders, and I might try some bottom fishing as well, just see if I can get them that way. So let's go on in here and I'll show you why I picked this spot. There's like a little cove here. And there's a lot of reeds off to the off to the side. And I've seen on the fish finder quite a few small species. You can see them right there on the fish finder over to the left. Some of them are on the bottom too. That is the reason why I'm checking that. But I'm going to go ahead and... See if I can't change my baits here. I've got one for light tackle. So we've got two small ones here. We've got a float rod with a white maggot on it. We've got blood worms and dendrobana worms. And we're going to try these both. And we're going to try float fishing as well. See what we can get here. Now let me go ahead and get these cast out. And I'll throw out the float rod. Oh, you can't ha have really more than... Well, that is not the substrate I need here. So that may mean that we're going to have to change. Unless I can find it. What the heck? Check it out. <laughs> there you go. A little pumpkin seed. Ravenous little guy. You see we do have the panfish here. Let's try that again. Actually, I think I might change that hook. I didn't know what kind of substrate I had at first, but now that I do know... I do need to change my casting style here. Perfect. And then I've got my waggler. We're going to change the style again. We're going to lob it in. And we'll see if these guys are going to bite.
Okay. All right, let's see what we got here, guys. Come on. There you go. And there's our first perch. Off the Dendrobana worm. And it looks like I got another one here. I think it's, ah, he got off. Actually, it's not surprising. So I caught him right over there, next to those weeds. I'm gonna lob it in this time because I cast it a little further than I, I care to. Try that waggler again. Hopefully, I won't lose the fish this time. That's about at where I caught the last one, and there he comes. There we go. And he's a little bit of a... Uh-oh, uh-oh, got him, I got him. There's another one. That's two. Got him off the white maggots, and he's a specimen fish. So as you can see, this is a real good spot right next to these reeds. That should hold true for most of these fisheries. I'm betting I got another one here, guys. Yep, I'm pretty sure that's another perch. Yep. There you go. One right after another. That's what I was hoping to accomplish, and I am pulling it off. You can see him moving around out there. You gotta remember when you're using the waggler, you have to pull opposite the direction in order to hook him. There's another one. That's four. See how fast they're pulling them in? And they seriously like this bait. I'm just got the one off the one bottom rod, so they definitely are much better with the float rods. Now, what I'd like to see if there's a boss fish for perch. I'm sure there is. There's boss fish for every species. So, if we really wanted to experiment a little, we could try a bigger hook and see what latches onto it. Actually, looks. Something just jumped right there, and so I brought it in a little bit. Try to get it float right over top of that. There are some decent little fish down there. There he goes. That was easy. <laughs> He's a real green one. Look at that. Yeah, I think I might try 
putting a little bit bigger. Let's see, how big is this waggler? It is a 16. Let's try a little bit bigger here. I do have a 12. Let's see how they do with that. It's like I said, I'd love to get a boss perch. Be strange if the first boss fish is a little bitty perch. <laughs> That's fine, I don't care what they are as long as it's a boss fish. Uh oh. Is it number two? Yep. Nope. That's probably when I'll get one on the other one. Damn, these little guys fighting. Check it out. Alright, guy. Damn. Oh, and I'm getting one on the first one, too. What is this? Oh, this is not a perch. I don't think this is a perch. What is this? It's a barbel! Are you a little bugger? <laughs> well, I lost the other one. That's okay. Yeah, I think you have to reel it in because it's basically like you lost your bait, so I don't think they're going to continue biting on it. But something did go for it, so we're going to keep at it here. Wait a minute, let me restart that. I just saw some bubbles over there. So I'm going to toss it right there. That's where I saw them, too. Yeah, a lot of fish do go for those dendrobana worms. It's probably completely mispronouncing that, but... Dang on it. There it goes. Every now and then I can't get that thing to start reeling. I don't know what that's about. Have I got another barbel? Okay, this is... What is this? What have I got? Whoa. Okay, where he is. Well, now he's all lethargic. Well, I'll be damned. That's a big old carp. 21 pound carp of 10 pound line. It's not bad. Not bad at all. Not expecting that guy. Yeah, there's some there's some movement over there. I think most of these guys are a little bitty. This hook may be a little on the big side, I don't know. We'll see. There we go. I think we got us a little pumpkin seed. Nice little fish. Ooh, and he's a specimen. One pound, 15 ounces.
Let's see what this fellow is. We got us another one of those barbels. Our hook's a little strained, so he's not too small. Oh, shoot. I don't know. He could be a carp. What the heck have I got here? Good lord! Another specimen fish, a 15 pound gar barbel. Damn. What is going on? All of a sudden I'm getting barbel out the wazoo. Yeah, I think I'm going to switch back to my smaller waggler, even though I've been getting bites. I'm not getting as many. Oh, number two. And the hook is slipping. Ah, I think it's another barbel, guys. Damn. I don't know, maybe it isn't. What is that? That's not a barbel. Is that a roach? I can't tell. I can't get a good enough look at him. Oh, shoot. I'm getting a bite on the other one. I got him. That's a chub. Okay. And he's a rare specimen fish. Well, I'm really doing well over here, honestly. Good lord, this is getting just nuts. And it must be in the best part of the day for this particular... I must be in the best part of the day for this particular location. That's all I can figure. I started out just getting perch. Now I'm getting all kinds of stuff. And this one is not a little fish. What is this? I think it's a carp. And he's a big one too. There we go, we got him. Yeah, I think it is a carp. Yep. Big old fat carp. Well, this is <laughs> this is turning out to be quite productive but not in the sense I was trying for. All right, I think I'm gonna go ahead and move down here a little bit since we're getting fewer and fewer bites off the perch. I'm gonna try a new spot. Try to see if I can't find some cover like I did there, but can't seem to get the fish finder to come up. I don't know. I've looked at the controls, but I don't see how you can change the fish finder. It doesn't let you do it. Ah, there it is. It's R. You can split it. 
doesn't tell you that. Okay, that's the fish finder. Okay. Yeah, the fish that are down there are kind of big. Like I said, there's not a lot of cover on this particular waterway. You might find them near the docks, too. So if we can't find anything down here a little farther, I'm going to go back to the dock. But I do know there is some cover over here, just past this bridge. Might even check over here. Because if this goes... Ooh. This could be interesting. Well, it could be interesting, but it also could be... The very big fish too. Check that out. Right there. That, my friends, is a spot that might work. Let's see. There's brush right there and right there. It's worth a shot. Let's see what kind of substrate we got going on down there. Okay, so we have silt. Ooh. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> that was uh, sudden. And yeah, that was not expected. And he's... Where is he going? <laughs> Where the hell is he going? How am I pulling that off? That's... The physics of this is impossible. Let's see here. Oh, I got him. I don't know how in the world he got on there so quickly. That was really strange. Okay, that's the right substrate right there. So if I just flip it off the boat basically we should be able to get something Let's see there we go and then we'll get the waggler see what what if anything at all is going to ooh what do we got here there you go there's our perch they love cover I tell you that's what you got to do you got to find the cover Yeah, there's a lot of these little guys under there. I can see them on the viewfinder. Okay. Whoop. I got him. 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 I didn't realize something had it right there as I was picking it up. Holy crap. What the hell? We got there. A carp? Yeah, mirror carp. And we got one on number three, too. And number two. Okay, this is getting crazy. This is a real good spot. <laughs> I 
Okay, this is going to be a little bit difficult getting him around that corner. Here we go. Well, come on. We might lose the other one. He's straining that hook by being around that edge. There we go. We need to get him in here. Don't go that way, you little turd. Yeah, he is going to be... He's a lot bigger than what I'm after. Come on. Oh, son of a gun. You little pain in the butt. There he is. Oh, he is. There we go. I got him. Another nice mirror carp. Yeah, I think we have done well enough. Set two? Yeah. No? Ah, well. Yeah, he got off. There we go. Perch. But yeah, it looks like a 16 waggler. Try to get it close as you can to those reeds. Just outside of there, they seem to really be biting right just in the sunlight. Because as soon as I tossed it out there, he went for it. But we also have plenty of carp, we have plenty of barbel, and they're going for the same baits. Yeah, I'm going to cast that out a little bit farther here. Right there on the edge. It's going to be biting like crazy. There you go. There's your perch, guys. And he is a specimen. Three pounds, three ounces. Very nice. Let's try that again. Seems to be the spot for him right here. Perfect strike. Yep, we got us another one here. Oh, he's a little chub. Isn't he cute? No, he's a little barbel. I thought he was a chub. There. Good strike. And there's yet another one. I think he might be a specimen, too. Nope. Looked good size. Yeah, 
wouldn't real happy with that cast, honestly. Perfect strike. <laughs> All right, I hope that makes my point. You can do it here. You just got to get in the right locations. And this is one of two that you've already seen. And you got to use it to your advantage as much as you can once you find them. Holy crap, do you see that? Holy Lord Almighty, what in God's green earth? Let me see here. <laughs> got this I've got to see here. Let's see. Have I got something that I can handle it with? There we go. And we are going to toss that right over there by that guy. He was a monster. Holy crap, I think I got him. I honestly can't think I got him. I do. No, no, I don't think it's him. It is a big one, but it's not as big as that one I saw. And he went right for that scent from hell, I tell you. Holy crap! And he's a specimen. A nice big one. That was a Wells that I saw earlier. Yeah, he went right for those chicken livers. I couldn't help myself, guys. <laughs> I had to go for that. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode. We have proven that you can get the perch one right after another if you know where to find them. And places like this are perfect for it. It's also good for quite a few other things, as you can have well seen just now. I saw that Wells catfish, and that was a monster barbel. I think the Wells catfish has moved on, though. But I'm not sure I could pull him in in this little tight spot anyway. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will be back with another episode of the Catch, Carp, and Course. So until then, guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.